Let's bring in psychotherapist Dr. Robbie Ludwig. Uh, doctor, it's so good to have you this morning. You know, online, those with high functioning depression are being painted as people who still get up in the morning. They get dressed, they report to work, they pay the bills, but feel empty on the inside. In your eyes, is that depression or is that something else entirely? No, I think what's really great about this TikTok and why it's probably resonating with so many people is there is this very stereotypical idea about what major depression looks like or what a chronic depression looks like. And people will say, well, I get out of bed in the morning, so I'm not depressed, I'm okay. But depression doesn't always look like that. So really high functioning depression can look many different ways, including isolating yourself, not feeling the same sense of joy that you had about an activity or about your life, being devaluing, easily irritated, uh, losing yourself in mindful habits, having this mm -hmm. low sense of energy, and getting through the day but feeling empty. And very often people who have depression don't realize it. They don't see themselves in that way. And so it's like depression uh, hiding in plain sight. That's why it's so good we're having these conversations. Yeah, and you bring up that it's so good that we're having you know these kinds of conversations but I did on the flip side, you know, kind of want to turn the coin here and ask you uh, the value add to society's overall well being. I know talk show host and comedian Bill Maher just made a point about this. Uh, it was talking about mental health. I wanted to take a listen with you and get your take on the other side. Every bad feeling isn't a disease, and Americans really need to stop pathologizing everything. No one's just sad anymore, they're clinically depressed. They don't merely worry, they have chronic anxiety. Do you like things neat and organized? That's OCD. You're bummed when it's cold out? Seasonal depression. You know, we played that because I want to know, do you think, doctor, he has a point? Does that get people to true health care or does that keep people, you know, at home self-diagnosing? What's your take on what he just had to say? Um, well, listen, I think it's great that we've become more aware of mental health issues in this country. For so long, mental health and well-being was not addressed. It was not identified. And so it is good to identify certain issues. But basically, if you are living a happy, healthy life where you feel fulfilled, you have people in your life, you like your work, uh, you're working towards some of your goals, you know, then you're probably managing life and all of its vicissitudes quite well. But it is also good to have identifiers. So if we're not feeling right or we're feeling stuck in life or not living our best life, that we can turn to a therapist or we can turn to our doctors and say, hey, listen, am I suffering from something that actually needs a major intervention? For depression, what therapists will often say, if you're having these symptoms, for two weeks or more, then you should go to your doctor okay. to see what other interventions can be made. Yeah, I know other doctors, you know, like yourself, have spoken out in the wake of these videos saying, you know, this has brought more patients my way to seek out some help that they were really uh, needing and had put off for quite some time. Dr. Robbie Ludwig, uh, really interesting. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.